Hello everyone, this is Verde, and today we're playing a little bit more Roll of X. Tons of stuff have been changed recently. And basically, what I was doing these last days was working on challenges. As you can see, the list is empty right now. I gotta just restart a mission real quick. And now we have the challenge list. I haven't unlocked all of them yet, but the idea is that you unlock them as you progress with, with the game. I have four of them unlocked. Uh, basically, they unlock more um, upgrades. Or I'll try the creep the world first. Let's go in order, right? About the sandbox, I don't really think I will be able to finish sandbox in early enough. Oh, a nice ring of rocks here. Uh, so basically, the the first challenge I am for the first challenge I am not allowed to build, as you can probably see. Nothing works. I can only place things. On top of already existing tiles. However, I start with a clone factory for growth. And honestly, I believe more growth is okay here. This is not that useful, to be honest. Here. Specifically in this challenge. <laughs> you know. Because I cannot build that many structures anyway, so. Machine learning seems nice. I'm not gonna commit the mistake of. This tooltip is wrong. Okay. Let me take a note of that. Okay. Properly noted. I just hope I build uh, the right thing when I try to. Anyway. This challenge isn't that hard, to be honest. The... Difficulty uh, starts quite low, and well, you start getting tons of growth, which eventually let's try to create that thing. Yeah, it is a sniper. So basically, it is a turtle challenge. This one, but they unlock tons of cool stuff. Like this one unlocks an active ability. That I hope you, I will be able to show that to you guys today. I shouldn't be. Let's see, let's go for crazy high attack speed snipers. That sounds fun. Okay, frenzy. Oh, frenzy now gives damage as well, which is nice. Oh god. That's a ton of levels. Anyway. What is useful? I will go for these. The usual suspects. Yeah. And then it's just a waiting game. Right? Okay, I can build some more snipers. Here and there. I suppose. Is this right? I don't think so. Let me sell you. Okay. You are definitely right. A sniper here is definitely right. And then there should be a sniper there. Why isn't... Something is wrong in this configuration. I can feel it. And I feel it has something to do with this, guys. So I'll sell you. There's certainly one there, one there, one there. Yeah, here. Here, here, and here. I did something wrong with the lattice. It's not like we are in a hurry, right? We are, we are honestly cruising through this challenge because, honestly... Uh, this challenge is there to be done with a lower level than we are currently are. 
So you can wait and do it afterwards like this and just flow right through it. And this build is strong too. That's another thing. Yeah, give me more options. Sure. And also, I believe this might start getting difficult. Eventually, right? Because we have to survive for 20 minutes. That's a long number. That's a big number. Let's place another one of you here and another one of you here and i think i'm all right with snipers for now let's destroy this look at how fast okay i'm playing at four times speed but anyway that group of enemies just vanished so what's the range of you guys pretty big yes pretty big let's start Creating some barriers, shouldn't we? More options, always good. Mm, not there. Want to create barriers like so. And then another layer right there. Another level, level 37 right now. Every level I get a little bit more attack speed, which is nice. Mm, more levels, yes. Let's go. Eventually, I will get to these guys. And having more attack speed as time goes on is nice. Very calm. And sell you. Don't need you. Not all of you. I suppose I can stop Growth right now. And these. Because they are outside of my sniper range. So... Yeah, let's zoom out so the game can run a little bit faster. And just wait. That is a very big amount of data centers. I just noticed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Too bad I can't build towards them. Because, well, I can't build. But I'm getting some levels as enemies get near, I suppose. Look, more enemies. They're getting... Let's remove this just to see how fast my things are attacking. Come on, get close. I would say that is very fast. And how much damage do you deal? Not 12k. How much health do you have? 6, 6k. So I guess that is alright. That should stuff us for a little bit. Great, more levels, which means more attack speed. Oh, a level with something that I didn't auto-build. Don't worry, I will try to do multiple challenges on this video. It won't be this short. But... Why did I fix that? I already have my full... My full base going, right? I have something of uh, something of uh, an idea tickling in the back of my mind right now, which is most objectives of these challenges is just survive, and I don't think that's cool, you know. 
I was thinking perhaps when with this build a cool objective would be colonized. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Because that forces you to keep growing. Yeah, let me note that down real quick. Change challenge one from survival to colon. Yeah, that's that's all right. Because surviving here, I mean, once you get to a certain size, it's just all right, you know. And the Conos is a very, very simple planet. Enemies here are uh, very tame, you know. They. Uh, this challenge is certainly easier than the other ones. I can tell you that already. I will get this one just so that it uses this thing automatically. Because I'm too lazy to click. So I'm getting a spec to, for it. Yay. Let's get more growth. More growth. Okay, mission accomplished. I've unlocked growth bomb. Right? Right. We can extend here. As we can with all challenges. As you can see, it is marked as done. Let's go to Factory Zero or Factory O, as someone calls. Uh, the simulation starts with a clone factory, clone factory. Levels are not obtainable. Objective is to survive for 20 minutes. Let's go. So I have a clone factory, clone factory. That means that I will have 20 clone factories over the course of this run. Right? However, oh, these are random again. Yeah, the sniper got the Tesla 2 tip. I don't know what happened there. But seismic weapon is kind of nice. I could try to go for the seismic weapon build. Okay, growth. So, uh, remember, now the difficulty is a little bit bigger than it was before, but not that much. I'll try to make a quake build. That sounds fun. Anyway. And... Oh, no! Actually, it is 10 clone factories, because rare clone factories give upgrades every... Two minutes. So there's that. So, honestly, we don't have any reason to play the game at normal, normal speed right here, do we? Not that hard currently. Okay. Yeah, I like the. Oh, yeah, we don't get levels. I just. I just noticed that we won't get a spec because of that. Oof, this challenge is a little bit tougher than I expected, to be honest. But at least we are getting a few machine learnings starting right now. So... Uh, we won't fall off that much in damage, I suppose. As long as we keep going with a single turret. The sound just tough. So, not even specs. That is tough.
That is very tough indeed, because... Oh. We we'll need to turtle up really badly here. Projectile speed, really? That doesn't help. Uh, thankfully, we spawn right next to an ocean. Normally, that is something that could be bad, but... Since we don't get any benefit... Oh, I even sell these. Since we don't get any benefit from killing more enemies, we... Oh god, look at that. It's been like five minutes and it's pretty hard. I don't think we're doing it. This is, this is tough. Oh, okay. This is not what we need, though. <laughs> Game, you are not helping me there. Game, you are not really not helping me there. I will not build within the shoreline, but what I'll do is the following. Try to keep the sharks around so that they lower the mob cap. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm also spacing them apart just be just in case I find King of the Hill. It is unlikely, but because I'm seeing like ten upgrades for this run. <laughs> but anyway, slowness. That's also not it. But it honestly, Lotus is doing all right. Look at that. Weird. I didn't even get the first Lotus. Why are they so slow? The sharks are walking and swimming real fast. And destroying my stuff. God, danger is ramping up. I mean, I can still grow my base. There is little to no downside in doing so. Like, it is a little bit more buffer before destroys my there is also another upside here there which is okay capacitors at least okay that's a lot of particles there is another upside there which I just forgot uh, uh, which is there is not much difference between my stuff and these guys when built they don't they already can they can already fire basically as soon as they are built which I suppose it's something and they also are able to to hit every enemy within the range, so I cannot be outnumbered, I suppose. I mean, I can be outnumbered, I just don't lose that much by it. Honestly, machine learning there is caring. Thankfully, we got that. And buildings are somewhat cheap, because I still get money. I just... And I suppose buildings will be cheap. Uh, 
And I guess there is something wrong with slow within the game. Uh, I guess that because enemies were being slowed before I get my, I got my first stack of slow. Which is something. Let's zoom out further so the game can run at its full speed. And I don't think my base is getting much stronger than this. To be completely honest. So... I mean, it is getting stronger as I get more upgrades, but... Okay, resources per second. Let me place some... Let me pause real quick so I can place these real fast. Yes, I'm doing ball the threats. Because honestly, I believe we need to in order to beat this upgrade. Up this upgrade, this challenge. Let me place a little bit more of you here. I'm always coupling them with a single barrier generator because my barrier generator has a little bit of a survivability. Although I'm not sure it matters because huh, honestly, it matters. With their damage, their current damage, it matters. But I don't know for how long. And enemies are getting very much slowed, which is nice. I need them to be slowed. Oh, pause, girl. I'll get to the quickest speed possible. Now let her rip. Oh god, I don't like losing that many buildings. But it's fine, it was max danger, right? And I'm still getting stronger because of the machine learning. Although, I would feel very much... Oh, great, more damage. For this guy, his attack speed is just damage. So they are holding off quite nicely, I suppose. How much damage do they deal? A lot is the answer. Like, and their damage is growing quite fast because of the attack speed thing I got. So I guess we'll survive, but I can't be that sure. I mean, there is no way my entire base gets destroyed. That's good. Uh, within one minute, right? I mean, damage is ramping up. And there is a famous set of last words I pronounced there. But nah. I'm arriving at 50k damage, and you are at... How much? Sorry? Excuse me? 2 million... Uh, yeah, 2 million health points. That seems fine. And dang... Oh god. Thank god I have slows. <laughs> I saw that horde rushing through my things. Anyway, I got the productivity module, which is a fantastic upgrade. And I think we got time for a third one, didn't don't we? Yes. Let's get to a third one. Low zero. During this simulation, every second, 10% of your buildings receive a permanent slow stack. Yeah, that sounds fun. I hope I can get any of the new upgrades here. That could, that should be fun. Now, first, let's strategize a little bit, right? 10% uh, of my buildings receive a permanent slow stack. So I gotta keep moving, right? I suppose. Either 
that or big buildings that are not bothered that much by being slowed. Yeah, that's not gonna happen with my buildings. If I did get Tesla, if I've got Tesla, I could do that, but there is no Tesla here. If I got minefields, that would be fantastic, but I haven't. Uh, I believe most players will try to strategize their picks for beating these more easily. That's fine. That's what you are supposed to do, after all. I'm just going random because... Yeah. So, I gotta keep moving. Therefore, it, it is probably best to get... Please be able... Yeah, he wasn't able. See, every second, 10% of my buildings. So, having more than 10 buildings places more slow on my things. So, I guess the best strategy is to stay at precisely... 10 buildings? Am I insane here? So, I have 5. Take seven, eight, nine, ten. When I finish building this guy, because look at how slow those cannons are already. Growth. Uh, I don't think growth is a nice pick here because the more buildings will get slowed, right? And I need another cannon already. Let me think here, real quick. Uh, I'm thinking. If 10% of my buildings get slowed, does it matter how many do I have? I think so, right? Basically the same as every 10 seconds all my buildings get slowed. I don't think Frenzy will be enough to save me here. But I guess... Please let me build. Thank you. Really? You got a slow stack right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, that strategy didn't work. Let me try something else. Perhaps with a different set of towers. I got minefield. Okay, minefield deployer is literally the best tower in this situation because it attack speed is determined by not by attack speed but by Construction speed. Therefore, you shouldn't worry that much about being slowed. Right? Yeah. That seems right. I won't get growth because what a minefield build. I will build this cannon here so that it, it can shoot. The bad thing though is that... Fields are indeed affected by... Slow. Mm, get this guy. I'll turn you into a minefield already. Bad idea, wasn't it? You are already so slow. I can't have build you, I suppose. Hmm. Me, I guess active abilities here are king, right? If I can get something like smite. That would do the trick. Uh, 
Uh, let's target that tree. It isn't a good idea, but I will do it anyway. Yeah, come on me, I got mines. Okay, now four. Range is nice. This is also this is also nice because it is attack speed agnostic, right? Like how no matter how much Yeah, I could go with an auto with a bank build. Either that or increase the range of I'll go with an out of a bank build. That seems my best course of action there. Therefore, this is important, this is important. Growth is also important. Growth is the most important. Let me place a minefield thing. Uh, one second. Uh, how do I pass it? Uh, one second. So I'm back. Not much has changed since I left, it seems. I hope I got to unmute this thing. Yeah, uh, you can hear me, which is great. So, I was hoping out of the bank would save me here. And honestly, oh, Pandora's box will certainly. Will certainly help. I mean, if my structures are slowed, yeah, that will save me. Yeah, I suppose we... Whoa. Yeah, that thing got me all tons of levels. Anyway, what is good here? This is a very slow game, so both of these are very useful. I'll get with Jack. I'll go with Jack. Now I'll also throw one of the... Oh, tons of XP. I like that. I like XP. So thankfully I spawned in a Tega. This is a very good biome for all of this thing. Because it has a ton of rocks. Okay, I'm being allowed to expand a little bit. And since my build speed is high and also um, since I'm pacing the game up. <laughs> uh, I'll get the productivity module. Even though I believe this is stronger right now. Basically, every time I acquire an upgrade, there is a chance I acquire two of them. Which is nice. Or more than two, actually. Sadly, there is no... clear indicator or on whatever this has brought. Well, there is that, and the flow is a little bit weird right now. Oh, take a look at to that after after this video. But anyway, minefield here certainly saved me. Let me place another minefield here. Perhaps not the best idea, but. I need something to explore with. Since neither of these have a big range, but I guess this guy has a big range. This is nice because every upgrade can be doubled, including the ones generated by that, including Clone Factory. And including the upgrades generated by Clone Factory. Oh, I love that music.
every time it hits it hits oh look that's what i'm looking for big rocks Uh, so basically, currently, I feel like these challenges are more like puzzles than challenges. Because they clearly have solutions for them. Like... Every time I am designing one of these, I think of a few solutions I can have to the problem in hand. Like... Oh, this, my buildings get slowed, therefore, oh, I have to do something about the lag of slow. <laughs> uh, that will be easy to deal with. Anyway, uh, so basically, I have a problem, my buildings get slowed, right? Okay, it didn't trigger there. It would be funny if it did. Oh, another purple one, soon. I hope it doubles. Oh! It, it was... I wasn't supposed to have this here. So I won't pick it. <laughs> I don't... I actually do know why it, it is here. It is because I disabled the restriction in order to test. It, and I forgot to re-enable it. So there's that. Uh, this one is the reward for another challenge. Anyway, uh, let's get just one Jack of all trades. I'm sad. Yeah, the RNG effect of this is very noticeable because it can double basically anything. And it can be quite frustrating given it doesn't have any like i'm getting one production line i got ju just one yeah but it doesn't have any let me turn off auto upgrade for a while uh king of the hill king of the hill is nice i just got one 20 percent is a low number let's get machine learning just one again yeah, perhaps I need to buff it. 10% is a little bit on the low side. Uh, machine learning, 8. I mean, that's a number. Uh, several being... Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't think it is able to destroy my whole base in 20 seconds. But I might be wrong about that. Let me make some contingencies. Right? Yes. That should be right. It even generated the lag report. Jeez. I didn't perceive such lag. But anyway, I... <laughs> I believe that's enough. Uh, I was able to finish this challenge. Yes, I've unlocked Flash Freeze. So let's leave the planet. Let's check on how's the time. I could technically fit it. But this one is quite hard as well. And so are the next ones. So, I'll guess... I'll guess I'll do them in the next video, or something. So... I guess that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like it, don't forget to click the like thingy. Helps, I think. And... Well, see you next time.